Original 59? Mm-hmm. Oh, 375k? <laughs> yeah, not nerve wracking at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Mm-hmm. Nineteen fifty four first year first month Fender Strat. One of the first strats ever made by hand. 125k. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So you might have seen our recent video where we traveled to pick up one of Steve Rayborn's guitars. As you would have seen, the guitar needed a lot of work, but our good friend Tommy Katona saved the day by enlisting the help from Jimmy Wallace's. While we were at the shop, turns out they've got some of the coolest guitars on the planet there they've got like a 59 les paul and one of the first ever strats made and it's over a hundred thousand dollars for that strat it's absolutely insane so we're going to show you a bit of what happened when we were at jimmy wallace's and yeah stick around because the tones you're about to hear are insane so let's go <laughs> Eric Gale uses, uses that for chords yeah, sometimes, doesn't he? He's using it right. Yeah. I had an original 55 bassman. The music store I was in, I ordered new speakers, and they said, just leave the amp here, and the new speakers will be in tomorrow, and we'll put them in there. Well, the new tech left a soldering iron on and burned the music store to the ground. No. Like, all my shit in it. What? I'd done that Hendrix competition, I don't know, maybe six months before that. So all, like my guitar I got from the Hendrix competition, all my stuff signed by Jimmy's dad, and so oh. all that was in there. It's always, it's always the stuff you can never get back, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh. Yeah. yeah. Right before you got here, a guy came up and got a 59 Strat right there where that blonde telly is. See, it looks out of place, but it was hanging right there. When I first started the music store I was working in, uh, we got, that's when they first came out with all the relics. Yeah. In 95, 6, 7. Yeah. We got all yeah. these Kinetto Strats, and I, I never got one of these, and I've, I've wanted one ever since. Whoa, yeah. And I, but I, I have enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't need but I really like this one, man. It's like a bitch, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds amazing, mate. Wow. Thank you. I love reverb, so I don't know why I love these old blondes as much as I do. But. I know what you mean, but it's, it's something about cranking these up that just has that almost Hendrixy sound, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Like what? There's, there's a 59 burst right there to your right. No way. I'll get the key. Original 59? Mm hmm. Oh, 375k? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Should we buy two, Mimi? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think to the 59? Can you complain? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't really complain at all. Yeah. It's skinnier neck profile. We had a 58, like literally last week, that was the original owner that bought it at McCord's Music in Dallas. Wow. And he came in person with it in the case and sold it to Jimmy. Wow. From the like actual guy who bought it. He was like 18 when he bought the thing. He's oh, And he's like, yeah, I just played it in church. And it was like, it looked like an R8. It had all the cherry on it still the burst was still there like none of it, it was faded for the most part tommy have you played that one i i don't think i played the 58 i played yeah. the 59. man not 59 it's called in our name short people problems i mean <laughs> <laughs> work for you that's beautiful yeah not nerve wracking at all yeah <laughs> that's a good one too mm -hmm. it feels different than the last one so good, man. That sounds so Sounds 
chords that you use, dude. It's Mate, awesome. you too. Oh. That's one of the things I love about your playing. You, you throw in those um, nice voicings that just catch you, you like in a yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's got it does have a sweet sound like that maybe more than you could ever get with a yeah. new it's just something about it. Tell them about the tube screamer situation. <laughs> so I did uh, <laughs> Jimmy does the guitar show here in Dallas and uh one year Joe was playing and Joe had, like we were just hanging out backstage and he asked me he was, uh, right before he went it was hey you want to jam and like and you know internally I was like hell no I don't want to jam with him but I was, yeah sure okay so my buddy Tyler Bryant was with me I said hey man he's got Joe's got a 59 Les Paul on the Dumble I just had a strap with me and they had like a TSL Marshall on stage or something like subpar I was like dude I don't know what I'm gonna do do you have like a tube screamer or something I can borrow and he's like yeah I'll run and get you my tube screamer real quick cool. So he gets me a tube screamer, I plug into it, and Joe calls me up, and I get up there, and we're playing like the thrill is gone, I believe. And he lays down a solo that was just a bottom of solo. Yeah, yeah. And it's my turn, and I'm going, okay, well, I'm just going to Albert King the shit out of it, because that's, you know what I mean? What do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hit my tube screamer and go, there's no battery in it. Oh, no. Tyler gives me a tube screamer with no battery in it, and I'm on stage with bottom of so I'm just like, you go, oh. I just turn around at the amp, and I was like, mm. <laughs> And so I still give him a hard time about that. That was like 15 years ago, and I'm still like, hey, you remember the time you gave me a tube screamer and no battery? <laughs> <laughs> With Joe Bonamassa, of all people, right? It's not like it was just, you know, anybody else. You know, it's like Joe or, or Gales or something. You don't want to be up there with no battery. No. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Hope that doesn't happen tomorrow night. <laughs> no, I'll let you play through my pedal board. You'll be good. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 We got you. Yeah, we got you. Yeah. You're not Check a big Les Paul. You're not a big Les Paul girl, yeah, but they. Mm. Are you good? Yeah, okay. Are you good? Oh, Trini Lopez. Yeah. I'm so not used to playing a Les Paul. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Different animal. Yeah, it's crazy. How's it deluxe that loud? part of my day was putting that <laughs> yeah <out. laughs> don't scratch it 1954 first year first month fender strat Should we plug it in? one of the first strats ever made by hand 125k Oof. damn go play some jimmy ball on that 
Yeah, yeah that's what it's. That's what it needs, right? <laughs> that's what it needs. Three way switch, yeah. <laughs> Chairs here. 